trials and research can take years to prove effective. So the Houston area is on the forefront of a more immediate remedy. Good morning, class. Dr. Rosalind Morales is training the next generation of nurse practitioners. The philosophy, take care of the patient as a whole. Not only their physical needs, but their their mental, psychological, and spiritual needs. If a patient requires pain management, we want to do something on a short-term basis that has a lower risk of abuse. We refer out for physical therapy, massage, acupuncture, those sorts of things. The pharmacist speaking, how may I help you? The pharmacist also has a crucial role in the opioid epidemic. If there's something fishy about the prescription itself or they just don't feel comfortable with the use or the amount that the prescription is written for, it's up to that pharmacist's clinical judgment to fill it or to not fill it. Stephanie Crowley is training at the University of Houston's Pharmacy College. A big part of her study learning about Texas's new drug monitoring program. Dr. Mark Fleming teaches at U of H and is a big advocate for the program. Pharmacists and physicians alike, they can actually uh, put a patient's information in and access all their controlled substance prescription history. The program launched in Texas in 2012, but recently the state pharmacy board took over the program. Now more pharmacists are using it and starting in September 2018, it will be mandatory. Well, you can see a patient. Oh, they've been to eight different doctors. They've been to 20 pharmacies in the past six months. From there, pharmacy students are taught they can use that opportunity to intervene with the patient and find out what's really going on. I view it as a, a life-saving tool. 